Hello there, Virgo. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are going to be doing a special reading. We're going to take a look at your soul's purpose and, um, you know, your special gifts and talents that you have been given to help, you know, bring uh, love and light into the world. And then also, you know, the lessons or the healing that you are doing at this time. So we'll take a look at both of those. Um, and if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like commenting or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Okay, let's get into your reading. Wombat spirit, be at home. Okay, I think it was Gemini. And maybe Sagittarius um, that had the same energy. Really um, interesting that um, um, that that has come out again. So you know the wombat spear to me is very much your Virgo energy. Um, it, you know it's a little bit that hermit energy. Be at home. Be happy with yourself. Happy with your life. Comfortable spending time by yourself, you know, you could be your own best friend, that type of energy. Um, so let's see where this is going. Fogged in, go slow, take time. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, the wombat does not move very fast. <laughs> it's this energy of take your time, take the baby steps. That you don't see the whole path in front of you right now, but understanding that going slow at this time is helping you to see where it is that you want to go. I feel like you just may not feel like you have any direction. Like you're kind of, the wombat here seems to be like stumbling along. You're kind of like, ah, uh, you're not, you know, yeah, I'm just going to go slow. Cautious. That would be the word. Cautious. So let's see what we have here with the moonology. Be bold and make the first move. So, okay, we're going to see where this goes because both of these are different. Um, this one's go slow and this one is be bold and make the first move. Okay. Well, you know, you can make the first move in a bold way, but it doesn't mean you have to do it quickly. All right. Let's see how that fits in. Um, all right. We're going to, going to take a look at your soul's purpose. So we'll see what is, you know, um, being asked of you at this time and then the biggest obstacle that you are trying to overcome in order to be able to shine your love and light. Wow. Okay, loyal heart. Not necessarily a romantic partner, but it could be. Um, this is why you're going slow. <laughs> there is a treasure here in this relationship. I feel like you, you, there's a relationship um, it could be family, friend, romance, even coworker. You're, you're going slow because there's this sense of understanding that there is treasure in this situation. Right now, somebody may be wearing a mask. All that glitters is not gold, right? Um, so it's this energy of trying to figure out what it, this could be a person that honestly almost um, annoys you. Or you could have a little bit of conflict with this person right now, or maybe a lot of conflict. But it's this sense of understanding that it's worth not... Look, you're not leaving it. You're fogged in. You can't see. It's kind of like, it's almost like this gl this glitter is like so bright, right? It's like you need sunglasses, you know? So you can't see this person or this situation as clearly as you would like to. But here's the thing. There is treasure in this relationship. You're having trouble seeing it, and I. but at the same time, I don't think you necessarily want to leave it because that's why you're going slow. Now, I feel like there's a situation coming up where you are going to need to take some action or say something, you know, to this person to try to find the clarity. What you are, this is your soul's purpose, is to give the offer. Wow. This is like the Ace of Pentacles. It's not about you waiting for an offer from this person. It's about you offering something. 
I feel like you're being, um, it could be, if this is a romantic partner, almost like putting it out on the table, I want to marry you. Or if this is a work situation, putting it out onto the table. In broad daylight, you know, uh, on the table, I would like to be promoted. You know, um, it's about kind of almost like putting your, putting the truth out there the tangible, real truth of this situation, not glossing it over, not sugarcoating it. Um, it, it. You would still do it tactfully. I don't mean that, you know, but it's about taking this bold move. It's as if this situation, um, your, your obstacle is chaos and conflict. There's chaos or conflict. It, it, you could be talking to this person, but it's like you're talking around this person you may be civil to them or whatever, but there is something deep down inside that needs to be said. A conversation. You know, have you ever had like a family member or a friend or something? And maybe you had a conflict with that person in the past and you never really went back and talked about it. So it's kind of like you've moved on from the situation. So you two like see each other at family events or something and you talk to each other, but you don't have that conversation. You don't, you don't go there, you know, to what is really bothering you. You are putting on the glitter. You are glossing over this situation. Um, and part of it is because it's a painful situation. I feel like there's a lot of pain for both of you in this situation. You're not really sure. How do they feel? You know, do I really want to open up that conversation or should we just keep going with this, you know, um, kind of glossing it over type of energy? Okay. So we're going to now take a look at your light and shadow attribute and how they are playing out in this situation. Um, we all have light and shadow. Okay. So the light is your gift, your talents. Uh, what you can bring to this situation to help shine the light and love onto the situation. Um, and then the shadow is really just an inner child wound that you have. It could be from this lifetime or a previous lifetime. It's a, a wound that needs to be healed. And that's all our shadow is. It's the fears. It's the anger. It's the resentment that we hold um, that are based on something that has happened to us in the past. So it's about just acknowledging that fear, anger, or resentment, shining light onto it helps to heal that wound. So let's take a look at your overall child divine, light attributes, innocence, purity, and redemption S suggests a special connection with the divine. I definitely believe that with you, Virgo. Um, a shadow attribute, an inability to defend oneself against negative forces. So you know, that means that when you are in a situation with somebody that is difficult, which could be this situation, right? Um, you know, this could be like an aunt or an uncle or a grandparent or maybe even a parent that doesn't think that you're on the right path or doesn't like some choices that you have made in your life. And when you show up to Thanksgiving dinner or whatever, you know, they start in on, you know, whatever it is, right? They start in on you. Um, and you may not have, you know, you may not stand up to this person. You may not tell this person how painful that is or what it is um, that is causing you some chaos in this situation. So it's about flipping the tables uh, in a way, in, a, in the sense that you are putting it out there. You are taking the first move, um, not letting this person, I feel like this other person is controlling this situation. And, um, and I feel Virgo, you, you have your part in this may be that you have allowed the other person to control this situation, right? So you've allowed them to, to fall into this um, situation and they, they haven't maybe made amends with you or, or asked for your forgiveness in something that they have said or done. Um, and yet when you get together, you just put on your happy face, right? You just put on the mask and pretend that everything's okay. 
but I feel like you're being called to put it out onto the table, you know, how you really feel about this situation, about what they have done, about how they have either treated you or treated other people. Because your light attribute is Don Juan, spotlights your positive, seductive qualities. Understanding that you do have a way of highlighting your own ability to um, be charismatic, to win people over, right? To um, allow other people to understand just, you know, the, the good in a situation and the bad, you know? You, you have a way of being charismatic and allowing people to open up to their true feelings. But I feel like you have to start the conversation. So your um, shadow attribute is guide, places financial gain and control over imparting spiritual insight. So there is something here about money, you know, um, trying to... Having insight in this situation, and, but trying to profit from it in some way. Because, you know, um, it, interesting. Like, I feel as if there is a situation. We have gold here. You know, there's a situation. It could be a family situation where, you know, you're thinking about inheritance. You know, maybe not right now, but down the line or something. And you're, you're, you're trying to maybe keep uh, keep in contact or make amends or put on a smiley face when you're not feeling like so smiley underneath because of what this person does or says but you're allowing that to happen because of some type of financial gain that you can make out of this situation hmm interesting wow Six of Cups. I really do believe this is a family situation because we had loyal heart. We didn't have like soulmate, you know. Um, it's really a loyal heart. Family situation. I really do. Ace of Pentacles. There it is. Taking action. Telling this person how you feel. Being straight up. And knowing that you have the the charisma the personality to say what you have to say you may have to practice beforehand virgo but you have the ability to say what you need to say to this person so that they listen and that they take action because you are being asked be bold and make the first move don't uh, don't allow this person to keep controlling the situation by um th their very nature i feel like you know it's an emperor type it's somebody that um maybe holds the purse strings you know um you know a lot of families they have that the person in the family that inherited a lot of money or something i had this great aunt and she had inherited a lot of money from somebody that she had worked for years before. Anyway, you know, she would come to Thanksgiving dinner and everybody wanted to sit down with great Aunt Laura, you know? Uh, and she wasn't really the, she wasn't somebody that was lovely to talk to. She was very negative, right? But we, you know, not me, I was really too young. But I remember, I remember the, the the family story was don't make great aunt Laura angry because you know um everybody wanted a slice of that pie um so you know it could be a situation like that okay knight of wands strength yeah you have the courage high priestess you are being called you are having intuitive um downloads about taking action in this situation i feel like you are a little timid about this a little not sure you know what will great aunt laura say when i <laughs> when i tell her what i think right um but also understanding hey you can go out on your own you have you know you have been waiting i think for your ships to come in in this situation for 
you know, for you to get your financial windfall from this person or this situation, it's not coming in. It's almost as if the universe is saying, you, you, you don't have to rely on this person or this situation. You have the courage and the strength to go forward and find your own adventure to take action, move forward in a way that is more in alignment with who you are. Be at home. Be at home with yourself. Don't allow this person's, um, really, I feel like this person is a bully in some way. Um, don't allow them to, to take you out of your own um, system, your own beliefs your own uh, value system. Because right now, the obstacle here is that they have hurt you. They have hurt you. And yeah, that, wow, that just came through. They have hurt you. They have hurt you down to the bone. And you have not told them that. You've kind of like, um, yeah, you have not told them that. You smile or you're at least civil. You're very, maybe polite to this person. You may not be overly affectionate with this person or spend a lot of time with this person. This could really be somebody that's really close to you, like a parent or a sibling or something like that. They've really hurt you. I, I feel like you, you know, we had something about negative forces yeah inability to defend oneself against negative forces i think you really feel like this this person or these people are bullies are just have whatever they have done is just almost evil okay um like you're kind of like how could you be that mean how could you be that thoughtless and they could have done it to you or they could have done it to somebody that you're really close to. Um, and you're really upset about it. It's kind of like, I feel like you want to have this conversation and then at the same time you're kind of like, well, it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, I think it does matter, Virgo. I think it does. Mm -hmm. Nine of Cups. You cannot find your own happiness um, in your own life until you take care of this, until you, until you put it out there, it's taken you a long time to express yourself to this person. A very long time. You, you, you block when they walk in the room. You probably, you know, whether you realize it or not, there's like an emotional barrier you put up because of the way that they treat you or they have treated you in the past. So your energy is to free yourself from this negative energy. You know, I, I said something about energy cords or I heard, um, yeah. Like I feel like you are tied to this person with an energy cord, a negative energy cord. Um, yeah. Wow. Five of Pentacles, they have made you feel very alone and abandoned, left out. I'm so sorry. You know, like that, they look at all of the other options, but they never look at you. They look at all of the other people in the world, but they don't look at you. You can't understand. Yeah, you can't understand. There's something about, you know, manipulation here this person could have manipulated you and in some way what you may be doing whether you realize it or not is manipulating them there's like this dance between the two of you um where you just don't you don't want to face the reality of the hurt in this situation um yeah, there's a sense of you want to, to, to breaking free of manifesting your new, new energy. You may even be wanting to manifest a new fresh start with this person. Like understanding that part of your journey might be to heal this situation, to tell this person how you feel. Um, I think you'd be really, I think the, the thing is, is that, you know, I'm getting that bullying energy. But the, the sense, the true sense of the matter is, is that 
bullies act that way because they are uh, fearful of not being in control, right? So it's, it's as if when you, you confront them, when you tell them tangibly the facts about how they have, have treated you or how you feel about the situation or how they have treated other people, when you tell them that, it's as if they, they, they turn to say to you that they're really, you know, almost like sorry, but also can we get a fresh start with this? Can, can we bury the past? Can we get a fresh start? They want a fresh start with you. They're not acting like that, okay? Because they're so convinced you don't want a fresh start with them. There's a, is a really um, interesting energy here of dancing around this idea of can we manifest a new start with each other? And yet at the same time, it's kind of like, oh, it's, um, it's uh, soupy. <laughs> it's this fogged in energy. It's very soupy. Because nobody wants to make the first move. Very much uh, similar to the Libra. Um, if you have a lot of Libra in your energy um, or in your chart. It's somewhat similar to that. About being asked to be the one to make the first move. That the other person is also wanting what you want. Like you both want the same thing. But nobody's saying anything. So you're staying in this soup soupy negative energy um yeah three of cups coming back together like i feel like when you talk to this person you tell them how they have made you feel so left out so abandoned um that what happens is that it brings the whole situation back together again in a good way celebrating you know yeah page of cups queen of swords oh my gosh oh <sighs> Wow. Yeah, look at what you have here. You have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles. Long-lasting, loving relationship. You can see clearly now that all this situation needed was a little bit of love. I feel like this person may have been a person that wasn't very good at expressing their their emotions um and you may be a person that's not very good at of expressing your emotions so it's almost like you were on this path where you never talked about your emotions and something this person did or said really hurt you really deeply but you never said anything you never said anything. And now it's kind of like it's coming back around. And, and you see perhaps that they have done this to other people or something. You say something, you know, and it starts a brand new cycle. And it's a lovely cycle, a cycle of love and celebrating. I really do feel like this is like a family situation coming back together. And, and you know, it doesn't mean that... Um, that, uh, you know, if, uh, you know, sometimes when you say a family situation coming back together, it means that you can get together and celebrate instead of just getting together and being civil, right? That the love starts to flow in this relationship, this group dynamic once again. What am I grateful for right now? You know, adopt an abundance mindset. Gratitude is the antidote to all of our problems. It is impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves our health, opens our heart, and changes our state. The universal law of attraction says that we attract into our lives that which we are focused. Close your hearts, put your hand on your, close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, and think of three things for which you are grateful today. Notice the abundance growing within you. Yeah, I feel like you think that this person has stolen some happiness or, you know, there's a lot, something here about money, so um, inheritance or the possibility of inheritance, something. Somebody, you know, it's going to work out. 
it's going to work out for a go but you are the one that has to make the first move you cannot sit back on this if you want this situation to uh, come together in some way so that at least you can move forward in positive energy right because this is pulling you down is lots of negative energy here you can't block this negative energy you have to confront this negative energy you have to tell this person how you feel and why it was so painful um breakthrough how many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear how many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams it is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams allow your heart to guide you trust your inner guidance the time is right yeah I feel deep down and Virgo I know you're going to say this person really hurt me or this person is you know it doesn't matter deep down inside what you really want is to be able to have a relationship with this person not just to see each other at family events and and, and wave from across the room like you want to have this person as part of your life ten of cups ten of pentacles you know this is a romantic partner you're like I want you back in my life you are the love of my life this is a family member it's like my life is not the same without us being in a real connection this is ridiculous like how long are we going to do this wow really profound um once again if you're dealing with a Libra or you have a lot of Libra in your chart I would really go look at that um reading too because there there's a lot <laughs> a lot um that is similar with this um well Virgo please be kind and compassionate with yourself um I know this is difficult for you you know this is not an easy situation um so um I think it's very emotional for you I think it's actually very emotional for the person you're dealing with too they may be hiding it they may be glossing it over um but there is a lot of emotion this connection wants to come back together in whatever form that is um so and I do do personal readings if you're interested the link is in the description box below but I really do um send you much love and hugs and um if you have resonated please consider um liking commenting subscribing I really do appreciate all of your support and I hope to see you again really soon bye for now